due to the vast imagery of penises and boobies and generally the nude human body, this video has been rated Mode L, which stands for Most Unorthodox Display of Erotic Art and Language. Due to this debauchery, viewer discretion is advised. If you are not bothered by this visual unchastity, please do enjoy. I also like that in the game the cursor is a condom. I mean, they really went out on this one when they made this game. With everything. It's raunchy, it's silly, it's kind of stupid what happens here. But mostly it's raunchy. Very, very raunchy. I mean, there's sex everywhere in the game. But that's Leisure Suit Larry about, isn't it? It's always been about sex. No matter what he does. Of course, uh, pretty much uh, Leisure Suit Larry 2 is the only game that has some kind of a story in it. Well, also 5 has a sub with some sort of a story in it too. But still. No, mostly just about sex. Just how much leisure suit Larry here can get himself into all kinds of women's panties. Or rather, take them off. <laughs> well, mercy time is over. Let's start the game. Start a brand new game. Yeah, sure. I need more, Larry. More. And something new. Here. Slip into these. God, Shamra. Is there anything we haven't done? I'm... There's lots I haven't done, Laffer. That's why I'm leaving you. Leaving? Now? Man, the CD's skipping a lot. Didn't expect that. A night with you gives a woman plenty of time to think. All that new age philosophy crap just isn't me. What I really love is money. You can't leave me here like this. She can, as she will. Right. So long, sucker. Hey, I don't smoke. Oh, um. baby, you are the lowest. This has got to be the worst night of my life. And a second ago, you said it was the best night. At least things can't get any worse. You had to say it, didn't you, Larry? You just had to say it. I should never say that. Yeah, you should. Shouldn't. Never should. Okay. So you are thrown, literally thrown into the game right away. It's called fire. It's attention, ready. attention. And it's going to kill you if you don't. Me? Yes, you. The person who spent the night with Shamra. Leave now. We think there may be a fire somewhere. Yeah, it's in the room that he is in. And nice to know that the fire department is Swedish. Um, I wonder where I could put on, uh, put on uh, subtitles. I'm. I think it's possible. It's a possibility, but I don't remember how to do it. So we'll have to go without subtitles for now. Can we whiz on it? I Good thing you wore your industrial strength extra absorbent underwear. Yeah. Because he just uh, peed his pants. La Costellata thoughtfully provides one of these complimentary little hair weave kits in every room. Ow. Well, let's My take it. Comb over could use a little thickening. So let's go into the inventory and see what we got. You open the La Costellata complimentary little hair weave kit and find a needle inside. La Costellata. I'm sure it was expensive. It's a steel needle from your La Costellata complimentary little hair weave kit. Yes. What's the matter, Larry? Got a little prick? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. Yuck, 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 yuck. You can't 
possibly bend it with your bare fingers if you only had a tool. No, I don't worry. I had a dollar for every time I've heard that. Yeah, well, you are a tool, so I'm sure you've heard that before a lot. That table would be empty if Shamrock hadn't left the vice grip slide. Until the menu bar appears. Click on the menu bar, and the menu will drop down. Yeah, I know. Thanks for the info, Mr. Fire Department Instructor. Pretty much the uh, fire department is instructing how to play the game. It's a good thing Shamar used those vice grips last night. I can just reach them from here. I don't want to know what they what they used those for. So please don't tell us anymore. So we use the vice grips. There. We have a bent needle. And now we just Use the bent needle on. Yes. Kind of funny that they use the same. Yump. Are you crazy? This is the fortieth floor. Don't you worry. We've got the net here. They got the net, dear. They got that. Uh, Swedish uh, accent that the walrus has in the uh, Woody Woodpecker cartoons. La Costellata recycled an old barbell and a couple of ten pound weights to make this floor lamp. Nice. Can we. Uh, how about we unplug what? it? You're afraid it will start a fire? Well, it could! It would make it worse. Three simple roses. A perfect metaphor of Shamara and you and... Okay, so maybe it's an imperfect metaphor. <laughs> sure, right. Yes, this would be a good time to pick flowers. Why not? Those poor little guys have seen better days. Uh, so are we soon enough. No, not the roses. There's not enough water in the aquarium to put out that raging inferno. Yeah, but if we could stop it from advancing. This chair is a solid heavyweight example of the fine furniture craftsmanship of the Design Guild de Motel Seats. Mm-hmm. Good to know. Use the chair to break the door. Furniture, Jesse, what it used to be. But it'll make a great bonfire. Now that it's firewood. Even that long night of lovemaking hasn't made me thirsty enough to drink warm water laced with fish feces. Or rather, dead fish right now. You can make sushi. You know. How about you throw the lamp? Man, you are a strong dude. Larry. It must weigh all of 20 pounds. Yeah, it says 10 pounds there and 10 pounds there, but you forget the pole. That is a, that puts a 5 pounds more, so it's 25 pounds. So, we gonna throw it. Can we turn Don't it on? Do you ever think about anything but sex? Funny. Can we lick the door? Licking is not the answer. Why not? Doesn't that depend on the question, smart Alec? Mm-hmm. We could lick this. Licking it doesn't that break the glass door. Yeah, I know. Don't need don't need to tell me what to do. I know how to play the game. So let's open the door. Or not. Must have overheated the frame. No, it's yeah, not. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. What's the matter with you, man? You're not limited to the standard set of Sierra verbs. Use the other. Yeah, like I said, that's a tutorial there that the fire department is telling you to use the other. Which is kind of clever what they use with this game. It's not just a point and click game. It also uses sort of a parser system so you can type your own verbs here. So to break the door, we really do have to break the door. That is not the smartest hey, idea. What's this? Ow! I hate 
paper cuts. And you've got. Ow! I hate paper cuts. Mm, that's the wrong place to get a paper cut. Yomp! Okay, I'm coming. I wish I had for myself a dollar every time I've heard that. <laughs> Yeah, let's Michael Bay this shit. Yeah. And also, that character there, she, she's dressed like the Sailor Moon, isn't she? Yeah. Leisure suit Larry, you just leapt from the 40th floor of a burning building. What are you gonna do next? Well, his name is Larry Laffer, not Leisure Suit Larry. I'm going to take a cruise. Well, let's take a cruise then. Leisure Suit Larry, love for sale. Oh yes. Hello, of course. Done any everything. No, no wonder he's so raunchy. Maybe I should put a black box on the uh, front of the. Um, ship here because eh, who cares boobs there's gonna be boobs everywhere in this game anyway and also I've always been intrigued by this guy here I mean he's drawn really badly and he's t definitely naked I don't know what the deal in it is with this guy but I mean seriously who thought of it who thought of that character there now, what the heck's going on back here? And just the start of this game is already like, what the heck's going on here? Also, I gotta love it that there's a giant champagne bottle here on the ship that says six. Welcome aboard! Oh, hello there, boat babes. My name is Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer. See. Welcome aboard the PMS Bouncy Laffer. Captain Thighs. I'm Captain Thigh. Told you. Before this cruise is over, she'll be falling all over me. Yes, here she is. See. Here's your key card, Mr. Laffer. There's been a slight problem with your room. Eh, what problem? I kind of expected that. <laughs> oh, not to worry. I took the liberty of substituting our largest cabin. You'll have plenty of room. <laughs> I'm good. Wow, that's super. Thanks. Now, um, where would my room be? Oh, just check the map. You're in room zero. Room zero. What a wonderful room. And also... Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Dildo. One of 32 possible. Man, it's... Sure. Let's see. Map. Man, the sound is going all all over the place today. Now, where was our room? Where is our room? Oh, there it is. Cabin you zero. Put your key card into the slot with great anticipation. Dick. Dick. <laughs> Minus one. Special sweet be like. Seems to be going underground. Or the engine room. Yeah, that's the thing with the game. If you had the, the original if you have the original game, you will have the sniper cyber sniff two thousand card where you when it tells you that, like the number six there, you will scratch it, and you would get the wonderful smell of what this room smells like. Which would would be a combination of motor oil and dank witness, really, just motor oil. So it would smell like a ship's engine room, and also, yeah, baby. Where's dildo? Yeah, baby. Even though it's a very funny, yeah, baby. It's not the same as, uh, you know, as Ash does in Army of Darkness. Yeah, baby! 
So let's see what we have here. We have a spray can. Someone stuffed a spray can into the toilet's drain. Oh, that's bad. Not that bad. This way, nothing runs out on your feet. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. If you unplug that, then you would. If you go on the toilet, things would pretty much float out freely onto the um, floor. Yeah. Okay, maybe this doesn't just uh, smell like engine room. It also smells like poo and pee. This toilet doesn't work. It has no water coming in, and the drain seems to be plugged up. You've been provided with the finest in army surplus cots. Well, Excellent. That's good. Not that good. Why not? It's from the Uzbekistan army, and the only reason it's surplus is because sleeping on it is less comfortable than sleeping on frozen tundra. Oh. I mean, some people in my old videos, they sometimes um, may have wondered when I go, oh, when I do something stupid. This is the game where I got it from. Larry Laffer going do. That's where I got it from. So if I ever make a mistake in some game and I go do, it's from this. Larry is awesome. Wow. Do I look hot or what? Not. If you ask me, not. Can we lick ourselves? Licking is not the answer. Doesn't that depend on the question? These barrels were once used to store toxic sludge, but oh, apparently excellent. no longer. Well, that's good. Not that good. It's all leaked out onto your floor. Oh. Oh. Your attention, please. Yes. There's a meeting starting immediately in the ship's lounge for any and all passengers wishing to spend next week working under the captain. Working under the captain. I wonder if that's a euphemism. This little giant safety shower was built according to the traditional principles of design and workmanship of the master craftsman of Brohuti. Well, that's good. Not, Not that, that good. good. Their traditional principle is make it last until the warranty expires. Oh. oh. Hey, wait. When will that be? Give or take a week? Sure. Ooh, about 12 years ago. Did I say do? No, no, yeah, you said it, but you need to put some more emphasis into it because that's even worse than what he said already, so it's do. This pipe is clearly marked water, for what that's worth. Doesn't the Larry look like an elephant from this angle? Well, we see his profile. It's his nose. He really looks like an elephant. He has a huge trunk. The shop light illuminates very little. Much of the engine room is shrouded in darkness. Yeah, we can see that. Well, that's good. Not no, Larry, that good. That's very good. Oh. So that was the only good thing here. That we don't see anything. Except we do, but Larry doesn't. While it may look like there are two pipes leaking near your bed, there's really just one. The rolling of the ship makes the water land on either side of your pillow. Oh, well, that's good. Not I guess. that good. Not that good. There it will. Guess <laughs> where it's going to land when the sea is calm. Oh. <laughs> exactly. Oh. That's the only huge trunk he has. Oh ho ho! Zing! The toilet paper is like Clint Eastwood's face. Old and rough, yet tanned and ready for love. It's at least a couple grades below grocery sack. Clint Eastwood? Really? That's the only one you can think of? I know he is a very rugged looking man these days because he's old, but still. And yes, you get some points if you look at the toilet paper instead of just taking it. There, we have some inventory and... Eww. Bugs. Can we flush? Now the toilet drains freely. 
Well, that's good. Not that good. It hasn't been connected to a water pipe in 34 years. Oh. How old is this ship? Or rather, where did they get the toilet from then? Jeez. They really don't care about some of their passengers here now, do they? Your key card has an all-important magnetic stripe on the back, so it may be used for shipboard purchases and even to unlock your cabin door. Ooh. So, let's see. We've got the forward hold, left hold, lower aft hold. Captain Quig's ballroom. Das Grande Atriumo. El Replicant Sculpture Garden. Paradise. Paradise Casino. Employees only. Horseshoes competition. Library. Purser's deck. The Heaving Ho, which is pretty much the dining hall. Kitchen. Clothing optional pool, which sounds very nice. The Foxicle. Still don't know how to pronounce that. Promenade deck. Aft deck. Proud little seaman lounge. Bridge and captain's quarters. Where we are going to go to the lounge first. Like they have been calling for it the whole time. That go to the lounge. Go to the lounge. Go to the lounge now.